Welcome oh. to my humble abode. Are you vlogging again this week? Yes. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. Oh, I'm supposed to do this. Yes! <laughs> See, I know that! <laughs> Welcome to this week's reading vlog. It's been like two weeks since my last one and y'all were like, where are they? So we back now. It's May 6th around 2 p.m. I'm just waiting for Ricardo to come pick me up because we're going to Costco because it's his mom's birthday tomorrow. So we're going to like pick up food and stuff for the party, but we will do a reading update before we leave. I'm like pretty much done The Foxhole Court by Nina Sikavik. Everybody give this book a five out of five stars. And honestly, I don't really understand the hype most of the book I've just spent confused with what the heck is going on so I don't know if that's like a me problem or what but everyone's like obsessed with the main character and like he's cool and all but like I don't get the obsession maybe like the last chapter is where like the big thing happens that everyone makes them fall in love with him but I don't really care but basically this follows like a fictional sport called XE which is like a mix between lacrosse and soccer this kid named Neil is like on the run from his father and he joins this university team which if you're on the run, I don't understand why you're joining a national team, but whatever, it's fine, whatever. Because, like, all the games are televised, and it just doesn't make sense to me, but it's fine. I think I'm probably going to give this a 3.5 once I actually finish it, but like I said, I have, like, a chapter left, so we'll see if that changes within the last chapter. And then, as we all know, always have an audiobook going with my physical read. So my audiobook is Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray, and I'm so excited to finally be starting this and finishing this. I'm not gonna give a synopsis of it since it's the third book in the Diviner series, which the fourth book is coming out soon. So figured this is the perfect time to get this done. Look, it matches my nails. That's exciting. Hello. Oh. We bought a pair of shorts for me in the summer because I gained like a million thousand quadrillion pounds. So we had to buy like a whole new wardrobe Why for did me, you gain right? A million trillion thousand pounds. Because I ate a lot of food, okay? We bought these shorts because I have like a whole bunch of high waisted pants and they were like all I would wear because like it would like suck my stomach in, you know? So like, mm. I put them on this morning because it's like the first day that it's actually like not gross and cold out. It's nice out. It's like 18 degrees, which is like whatever that is in Fahrenheit because I, I don't know, but it's hot, okay? Yes, so that would be a form of math. Yeah, I don't do math. Okay. So we bought these shorts. They're a- uh, They're an 18. They're an 1834. But, but we thought they were- Kid kids size. 18. Yeah. So I put them on this morning and they literally are so big on me and I'm so happy. They can be your winter <sighs> shorts from when you hibernate and put yeah, them back on. And, um, then... and I wear shorts in winter. Wear... But like even the shorts I'm wearing now, which like I wear all the time, they're a little bit big too. So your girl is a skinny legend. Comments? I am not. Oh. <laughs> So these were the shorts and they fit me like perfectly and now like look how <laughs> much there is. It'd be like a, a weight loss Just commercial. Like, yeah. Testimo testimony. Like look how big they are now. They're they're beautiful shorts though. They're But look. <laughs> look. I can't even folded. fix I can't manipulate them. Uh, I'll just not even with a belt it would work because the belt would be like <laughs> no you have to either wait till you get wait until I get fat again. Wait till you or... put weight on again. <laughs> look at like Love that for me. Also, my mother would like everyone to know <laughs> that she made this for me. Isn't it beautiful? You little artistic genius, you. Hakuna Matata, bitches. This is why you don't wrap presents on your bed. Because this happened. Stop it, mom! It's my boyfriend's mom's birthday tomorrow. So we got her this lantern thingy that she'll put in her garden. There's a candle in it, and oh my god, it's on me now! Ah! Have you stopped whining? No, I don't like help! There's lines on the paper for you to I don't understand! Okay, did you just tape that to the top of the box, now your seam is gonna be on the top? Yep. <laughs> you see the camera shaking because I'm laughing at you. Help me. I don't know why you're still laughing and filming. Help me. <laughs> Can you please help me stop filming? Thank you. Bye. Inside of the paper. Help! Stop filming and help. This I'm is sweating. why. This is why my Christmas present is usually a handmade card telling me what she's gonna get. That is not true. Half the time it's I don't know what you want, so I'm gonna pay for this. Pick which one you want. <laughs> Just keep on. Can you help me? That. 
much do you pay for that in a thrift store? For this? Yeah. Probably like $16.99. It's an OP. I don't know what an OP is. OP was a popular brand almost 40 years ago. <laughs> this is Mother's Jacket from 37 years ago. But look, Snoopy and Woodstock. Ah. I like the rainbow. Hello, it's now Wednesday. And uh, if you didn't notice, I have zero footage from yesterday because I worked from 2.15 to 9.15 and then it was Ricardo's mom's birthday so I went over straight after work to her house, his house, their house so that we could have like a birthday party because everybody in the family was over there while I was at work. I spent five hours watching carpet bowling for seniors which is literally just bocce ball in a gym. The lady who was running it spent the entire time trying to hook me up with her grandson even after I told her I was engaged. She was like, well how serious is the engagement? And I was like, well, it's an engagement so pretty damn serious. I'm not actually engaged, I just tell all the old people that I am engaged so that they'll leave me alone and stop trying to hook me up with their grandsons. It happens frequently. But I figured I would update you guys on my reading. I finished Foxhole Court. I'm giving it a 3.5. The last chapter definitely like made it better because I think I was gonna give it like a 3. I was like debating 3.5 but then I read the last chapter and I was like okay solid 3.5. I'm definitely intrigued in the second book because that's when everybody says like it gets way way better so here's hoping but I am really like interested in all the characters. I like feel like I'm gonna learn to love them a lot. I'm also like 62 pages into Before the Devil Breaks You now. Obviously I'm still like obsessed with the series. No, I'm gonna give this like a 4.5 or a 5 most likely. So still in love with Sam Lloyd, still in love with Evie, still in love with like the entire cast. So today I have to film a shit ton of videos because if you can see there, wait there, there's like nine packages of books there, so I need to unbox all of those. I have to film my TBR for May. I have to do my favorites for April. I have to do my most anticipated May releases. So we're gonna hopefully bang those videos out today and then Ricardo's done work at six, so I'm probably going to see him. Can you tell I'm kind of like in a very mellow mood? Like I just don't wanna do anything, but I know I have to do things, yep struggle is real. I'm gonna go knock those videos out, maybe. I might just lie in my bed. So it's later on in the day on Wednesday. It's like 2.30 and I banged out three, this is two, I banged out three videos um, and then my lovely camera died. So <laughs> I did my May TBR, I did my April favorites, and then I did one unboxing video, which Salmon and Schuster played me. They send out a list of arcs that you can request like every season, like every publisher does, right? So I usually request the thriller books because, you know, this girl loves stabby stabby books. So I requested these two books and they were like, oh yeah, like we can't send you a copy of them because like too many people are requesting them. So here's copies of them on NetGalley. And I was like, awesome, thanks, love ya. Cool. And then this month's Thriller Chronicles came and uh, guess what the two books were? The two books that they told me they couldn't send me. So you played me, Simon and Schuster. I guess I'll show you guys. They literally did the exact same thing to me last Thriller Chronicles. They did it with two of the books that they sent. They were like, nah, can't send them to you. So then they've sent them to me otherwise. So Simon and Schuster, you rock. I'll show you guys the last ones too. So the last one was The Homecoming by Andrew Piper, as well as House on Fire by Bonnie Kistler. And the ones for this one were Social Misconduct by S.L. Maher and The Last by Hannah Jameson. So yeah, thank you to Simon & Schuster for uh, tricking me every single month. <laughs> Y'all rock. So now I'm just waiting for my camera to charge so that I can film the rest of the unboxings. There's three more unboxings that I have to do. And then... Like I said, I'm going to see Ricardo. I think he's coming over and we're just gonna watch Drag Race. Hi, babe. Hey. What are we doing? 
We are building a spring cookie decorating kit. Wow, we're such adults. All the things I don't like. Dad! Sprinkles, candies, and icing. You're welcome. Monster. Dibs on this cookie. Okay, but you're supposed to decorate it, not eat it. Please tell us about your design. I was gonna make a person because I bit the head off, so but then I realized that it had a little bump at the bottom and that wouldn't work. It's very colorful. It's the international flag for, or the national flag of Ricardo ducks. <laughs> That's my flower. Oh, it's I feel a flower? Like you well, win. I this is, petal, this so. is like discretion, Five year olds. I figured we have three cookies each, so we should probably, you know, be minimalistic. Same. Yes. But, um, <laughs> we tried. <laughs> it's pretty. Look. It's Ricardo. <laughs> Similarity? Oh Do you love it? These are my creations. Those are Ricardo's. Ricardo wins on the creativity. I was trying to save materials. We Can still I eat have them? materials. Yeah. Oh, that's a really. I don't like icing. You have to eat it. Try it. Put it in your mouth. This are like 3D. Is it good? Do you love it? <laughs> Rating out of 10. Three? <laughs> Best day ever! Back in the car with that quality content. Quality content. Our quality car content, yes. It's the only time you and I film yes. together. Or in my room. We're on our way to Walmart. Getting some toothpaste and Q-tips because we are adults. Anything else you want to update on, Mother? Oh, I got nothing exciting. Love that for us. Okay, hey, bye! Say goodbye. Okay. Wow. Wow. I love how much you pay attention to me. You just spent like the entire time <laughs> on Twitter. I was texting Molly. You just literally went pee. <laughs> Should have watched the video when I was peeing. I was trying, but you interrupted me. <laughs> He still hasn't picked a movie. Take all the pictures you want. People, look. Mama made socks. She's making fun of me. Saying they don't matter. Look at this. I made this. They're amazing. I'm really proud of you. No, you're not. You don't give a shit. We're watching Chambers, which is this really fucked up show, but I'm so into it. How do you feel about Chambers? Look at my socks. Oh my god. Bye. Basically the entire day, my mom and I have just been watching this show on Netflix called Chambers. It is fucked up it's about this girl who gets a heart transplant and then she starts like seeing things that the girl who died saw and it's like her trying to like solve the mystery of her death but we're only on episode four right now but like we are fully invested in this story it's really good so highly recommend check out chambers on netflix i figured since my mom went to go pick up my brother from work that i would do a reading update i don't think i did one yesterday and you know this is supposed to be a reading vlog so we should probably do, you know, reading things in this vlog. For Before the Devil Breaks You, I'm 146 pages in. We're finally learning more about Project Buffalo, which I am super excited about because I don't know what the heck's going on, but I just love this book series so much. So I'm just loving it. I'm having a grand old time. The audiobooks for this series are just like incredible. So if you haven't read the Diviner series or if you're like looking to reread it, highly recommend you do it on audiobook because it's just like makes it 20 times better. As you guys know, I finished Foxhole Court and I don't think I've talked about my next physical read yet, but it's The Kingdom and this is by Jess Rothenberg. It's an ARC. I believe it comes out like May 26th or something like that. I got it from Macmillan. I'm supposed to read it. So we're doing that. It's about this girl. Well, she's not really a girl. She's like a robot or a fantasist which is basically like an android, I think. But her name is Anna, and she is like supposed to be a princess at this amusement park. And then she's not supposed to like have emotions because she's an android. And then she starts feeling emotions such as love. And she ends up falling for an employee named Owen. But then Owen ends up murdered and she becomes a prime suspect and is basically told through like flashbacks and trials and like multimedia shit, which Y'all know I'm a fan of it, so I'm really enjoying it. I'm only like 30, 60, I lied. I'm 60 pages into it and it's actually like really good. So I'm definitely 
gonna be reading more of this at some point, but probably not for a while because, you know, I need to finish Chambers. I'm also supposed to be going to see Abby shortly, who, if you guys have watched, like, Vlogmas on my channel, you saw Abby and me got a tattoo together. It's like, my best friend for, like, 17 years now. So, I'm supposed to go catch up with her because I haven't seen her since New Year's. So, you know, we got a lot to catch up on. Might film that, might not. I don't know. We'll see. Insert clip here, maybe. But I'm gonna go read, maybe? I don't know. I haven't decided. But she's not coming until like 7, so we got a while. Banana cream cheese caramel. What? Yeah. The banana cake, yeah. yeah, with cream cheese, buttercream, and caramel. <coughs> chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate. Chocolate mint. S'mores. Cool. Red velvet. Very cool. Abby works at a cupcake store. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's my supplier. Supplier. <laughs> Hello, I'm about to vomit. <laughs> I'm gonna go give my resume to a cupcake store where Abby works and I'm gonna vomit, so it's gonna be fun. So give mm. more details. But... I'm really, really bad at interviews. No, I'm Therefore, at who, who owns a cupcake store? My ex-boss is wife. She's a lovely lady. And your best friend works there. Hopefully this is the one time <laughs> where they're gonna be like, it's okay that you suck at sh interviews, you know? Because we know you. But realistically, they're gonna be like, oh God. <laughs> what? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I will update you once we get back from this adventure. Resume has been put in. I literally walked in and, I was, and like my friend Abby is like sitting there talking to another customer so I'm standing there waiting. I can see Erica who's the boss like right there. And she's like looking at me and I'm just like just gonna wait so I'm not being annoying and you know barging in front of a customer. So then Abby thinking she's so funny goes hi how may I help you and I'm like I want to see Erica. And then Erica comes and she's like, yeah, I already know you. And I'm like, great. And she asked me all these questions about like my availability and stuff. And then she asked me about what I'm doing in September. And I'm like, oh, I'm going back to school. She's like, oh, what's the schedule? I'm like, I have no idea because they didn't tell us yet. So that's a fun Yeah, but fun you part. wouldn't know, so many people wouldn't know anyway. Yeah, but then, uh, so she's like, okay, thanks. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And then that was it, so. Who knows what's gonna happen? We'll keep you posted. I hate jobs. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> find the present, find the present. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> When? <laughs> Why? Because I can. Thank you. <laughs> Tomasa opened it and I was like, shit. <laughs>